Hello everyone, I'm Joel McDonough. And I'm Matt McHugh. And we, we are, are McHugh, McHugh Painting. Uh, Non-technical skills I would say is personal development. Um, I was a part of, still am a part of uh, a leadership team development program that helps people develop themselves personally as well as a team. Um, and then when you speak about teams as well, I've uh, played a lot of sports, um, soccer growing up, so just learning not only teamwork, but taking leadership when needed and giving constructive criticism where you're not offending people, but building them up. So, um, you know, kind of giving them the great feedback with a little bit of, hey, here's something I noticed you can improve upon, right? Uh, typical work day, um, wake up before the sun gets up, uh, sometimes it's go to the gym in the morning and then straight to work, usually here around 8. Um, depending on the time of the year, I think uh, summers tend to be a little bit of an earlier start than winter months, but um, yeah, I'd say like 8 till 5, sometimes there's quotes that have to get done after 5 because of people's schedules, so I don't mind doing those, just have to coordinate it with my schedule to make it work around the family time. Um, I'd say the skills required are excellent communication. Um, everything I'd say uh, rises and falls on leadership as well. So definitely have to lead the way by example. Um, and for me, that's health first and then um, work after so if you have health in mind first I think everything else kind of falls in place after that um, yeah when it comes to some of the non-negotiables it's you know getting movement in daily or, or playing an activity with the kids and, and eating well throughout the day yeah I see Kind of that constant improvement mentality where um, software is becoming more and more uh, relevant in the business so the better communication takes place with software talking to other software so however you can automate that um, i believe ai is coming into our industry for that back back end um, and the more we can um, integrate that and capitalize from it i think that'll help us uh, stay competitive uh, moving forward for sure. Yeah, so most challenging I would say is um, not only finding the right team members, but finding the right clients to work for as well. So it's just constantly filtering uh, the right people in or the wrong people out. Um, I think getting better and better at that process, just understanding, um, you know, where the lead came from, what type of referral as well as um, how quickly new team members can grow their skill set. Um, there's a lot of things we can't train, like you know, character, integrity, work ethic, all of those things, but we can exemplify them and hopefully duplicate them um, very quickly. I'd say favorite part, um, and I think this kind of piggybacks into the last question, is just kind of teaching people what I see. So I'm in the business of, you know, building leaders underneath me, as well as like showing them what I see. And it takes time to see what I see and not that we'll ever make anything 100% perfect. Um, I don't think that's uh, humanly possible, but uh, at the same time, um, teaching our team that uh, we strive for perfection and our communication and ultimately the experience we can give for clients through that is what's going to allow them to uh, have repeat business as well as referral. Uh, I'm most excited for uh, just continuously growing and, and building um, a community of people around us who are not only like-minded but wanting to scale a company that we can, you know, get a little bit more creative, not only from uh, marketing and video content standpoint, but also um, any other endeavors that kind of come with it. Um, in five years, I see us at a point where 
we have um, a new facility where we can, uh, you know, take on probably five times more business as well, right? So, mm -hmm. At McHugh Painting, we offer ordinary and we deliver extraordinary. Taking your vision to reality one brush stroke at a time.